Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel, and today's video is one I am so, so excited for. In fact, excited is more of an understatement. I am ecstatic to do this video. It is one of my favorite videos to do, and this is when I pair up with my bestie, Melanie. Many, many, many of you already know who she is. She is here on YouTube, and her channel name is Mr. Kong's Mom. We talk every single day. I can't imagine my life without her in it. She is just, she's an amazing person. She is a beauty and skincare guru and we share the love of home fragrance together. So we love to do this video where we pair up or do a collaboration and we share our favorite like seasonal scents. Generally speaking, we like to do this where we are actually together. We like to visit each other. I like to come visit her like once a year, um, but you know, 2020, Corona happened. We're in a pandemic, so I'm really hoping I'll be able to go see her next year and we can do this video in person. If you have been hanging out with us for a while, you know, we're a good time. <laughs> we really love hanging out with each other and it's just, it's so much fun to actually do the video together. But this, since we can't hang out together physically, we will do this collaboration together. And I have to say, when we did this for our favorite fall picks, or favorite fall scents. Um, it was a lot of fun because we don't tell each other what scents we are choosing. So it's a total, uh, it's a total surprise to both of us. And even when we have done the video actually physically together, um, we don't tell each other what scents we're picking. So, but this is, it's fun. And I honestly, I'm really, really intrigued to see what scents she decides to go with this go around. Um, we actually had a lot of scents that were overlapping for the fall time, which isn't a surprise. Both of our favorite seasons are fall. Um, I also love winter. I love all things home fragrance, but as far as seasonally, fall is my jam. Winter, a little bit, but fall is totally my jam. But so when we came to this, where, where we were going to be doing this video and choosing scents that are appropriate for the winter or holiday season. Um, I thought, oh, this is going to be easy piece of cake. You know, we decided to choose six fragrances and I, I'm surprised. <laughs> I shouldn't say I'm surprised, but I was like, I could totally keep picking more fragrances, but I decided, well, I'm just going to stick with these. <laughs> And we'll call it good um, but I could totally just keep naming off scents that I absolutely love during the winter or the holiday time so like I said we don't know what scents the other person chose so make sure you do go over to her channel if you haven't subscribed already definitely subscribe she is such an amazing person like I said it's more than just home fragrance um, she does home fragrance generally on the weekends but then uh, during the week she like I said she's a beauty and skincare guru so she talks all things beauty and skincare and she's just she's so knowledgeable and she's beautiful and she's amazing and I love her so um, definitely go over and check out her video I will link her video down below of her picks for the winter slash holiday season so I am super intrigued to see if we have anything overlapping so let's go ahead and get started let's dive right in now you can't <laughs> this is I don't think this is gonna be in her top picks and this is if you have been hanging out with us for a while um, this is one that we had done together um, that was a pretty, I mean, they're always funny when we hang out together, but this one has to make my list. It's not, I don't think it's a favorite of hers. Like I think it's one that she can do with or without, but Eskimo Kiss. I love Eskimo Kiss. And if you have seen the video, gosh, it's, it's been a couple years, but she, she, she likes it, <laughs> but it's more of a bathroom scent. And I can totally get that. Um, I think we call it, this may be the one. Melanie, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, is this your fancy lady toilet bowl? Is that what this? <laughs> I know that doesn't sound appealing, but I love this. This to me, to me, I can definitely see how it's a good bathroom scent, but I, I, I like this for all over the house, <laughs> not just in my fancy lady bathroom, but I love this. I absolutely love this. It is a very cool and you're gonna hear me say this i think another one or two times it's a very nice cool winter berry kind of scent and that's for me like the difference between what i'm picking for fall versus what i'm picking for the winter or the holiday season i like the more cool 
the cool based scents whereas in the fall I want all things I mean I always want all things bakery for sure but when it comes to like specific like holiday or winter kind of fragrances I don't really go so much towards the um the heavy warmer bakery scents I always feel like I want to warm them but when it comes to like seasonally specific um because usually we're coming out of that fall season where we're coming out of the heavier spicier warmer scents and you are usually wanting something a little bit more cooling if you will does that make sense so this for me just checks all the boxes it is so nice it is and this is not in any particular order by the way i have to just say that um but it does have this sweetness now i don't usually i'm not one for like minty fragrances so when i'm saying cool it's not minty like I don't really like minty fragrances personally but this is just there is like a little bit of a cooling but it is sweet so if you like if you tend to like fruity scents but you want something that's going to be appropriate for like the winter or holiday time I think you'll really like this one it's nice oh my gosh we're six minutes in and I'm just now finishing talking about the first scent that's just I mean it just it is what it is okay Eskimo Kiss let me tell you what Sensi says about this so since he says blackberry jam caramelized brown sugar vanilla and amber and a softly romantic scent and i just love this it must be i mean the blackberry jam for sure but it's not like it's not an overly sweet or overly like generic sweetness to it does that make sense um i love the fact that there's some vanilla in here i love all scents that have amber in it so i just I love this one. So Eskimo Kiss had to make my list and I'm sure she's probably cracking up right now. Okay, moving right along. I had to choose Snowberry. Snowberry is a definite favorite for me. This goes into my club every time um, this retires out for the spring and summer season. If you are newer to Scentsy or newer to my channel and you don't know what I'm referring to when I'm talking about the club, it is Scentsy Club, which is our uh, subscription service. And one of the perks is that uh, Scentsy will always make the bars that are in your Scentsy Club for you even after they retire. So as long as they stay in there, Scentsy will continue to make them for you, which is so awesome. So this one is a very different scent and it's so hard for me to describe, but once again, along the same lines where I'm going to describe this as like a cool winter berry kind of scent, but it's different. So you have this like blackberry kind of feel with that. And this is more of like a winter strawberry kind of total wintry though. Like I, I, I mean, I guess I could see warming this maybe into the springtime, but not so, not so like strawberry fruity, like a summertime fruity, if that makes sense. So, but there is that kind of cooling um, aspect to this one as well, but it is sweet and it's nice. And I feel like it's a really good, I would consider this to be like a wintertime fruity fragrance. Oh, it's so nice. Let me tell you, and this, I remember that this one has a description that I don't entirely agree with. So let me find it and tell you about it. Snowberry, snowberry here. Okay, since he says luscious blend, of Loganberry. I have no idea what Loganberry smells like, but I know I think I'm going to like it. <laughs> um, a luscious blend of Loganberry, strawberry, peppermint, and zesty cinnamon. I don't get peppermint from this. I don't get any cinnamon. I, I'm very picky with my cinnamon scents. I don't want them to be too overpowering or too aggressive. Um, I like hints of it. I like it to be there, but I don't want it to be like the main focus. I don't get any cinnamon. And this is a scent that I think might make Melanie's list. So I'll be interested to see what she says. But I don't get any cinnamon in this whatsoever. It is just, like I said, kind of a winter berry kind of scent. Um, and I don't get peppermint. That may be what's giving it that cooling effect. But it's not like toothpaste. Like, I don't smell toothpaste in this. I don't smell mint. It's just a wintertime fruity fragrance. So I really love this. But if you're like me and you don't really like cinnamon scents, you don't really, you're not really into um, peppermint, but you like fruity, I would definitely say give this one a try. And this one for me is a must have. So how to make my list. Okay, another scent that goes into my club every season. So see these, these all, and by the way, Eskimo Kiss goes into my club as well. So all of these they go into my club because I can't live without them. So Winterberry Apple Tea, I actually think I mentioned this one in my fall picks too, but this is one that I feel like could totally overlap from fall 
into winter into all of the time into forever <laughs> because it's so good i love this oh it's so good i'm really interested to see if this makes her list um oh it's so good it's so good i i feel like i you you really can like warm this all times of the year this for me is apples it's honey it's cranberry it's sweet it's fall but winter as well i just it's delightful i just love this one um let's see here let me tell you what sensi says winterberry apple tea they're considering this a holiday fragrance as well um winter tea cozies up to cranberry apple and honey absolutely i agree one million percent with that i also get um oh no cranberries in there yeah apple absolutely apple cranberry honey the the honey in this is very that's what's giving it the sweetness but i don't feel like it's too much it's it's another like winter fruity scent i guess i'm seeing a theme here but i absolutely love this and it had to make my list as well because this is always club worthy for me so winter berry apple tea is a definite must have for the holiday or winter season okay next one i'm actually surprised i didn't have a bar of this i was like wait what um so this this was a good little video to do because when i go to reach for this and i don't have it i'm gonna be a sad monkey so um cranberry garland i love cranberry garland i love cranberry scents i feel like there's a definite like fall time cranberry and a winter time cranberry so i think if i remember correctly for my fall i should have checked before actually doing this video so i would be accurate but i believe my fall time cranberry pick was um candied cranberry pecan that's more of that warm kind of fall time cranberry this is for me more of a winter time cranberry because this is cranberry but there's a little bit of like a green note to it as well which gives you that more like holiday or christmasy kind of vibe so i love this one and and had had to make my uh holiday picks as well so cranberry garland is sweet tart cranberry grounded by sage and earthy pine cones so that's where you're getting that like green or kind of earthy notes is definitely from the sage definitely from the pine cones but for me it almost takes on more of a like christmas tree kind of vibe but more like cranberries in the forefront and then you have those other earthy notes that are kind of finishing it off but I love it and it's a definite perfect like winter time cranberry scent for me personally also the scent of the month which is jeweled uh, pomegranate that's a really good one if you like those kind of like scents it didn't make my list but um it's same kind of vibe really really good okay next one is christmas cottage so this is the exception of my um cinnamon because i feel like this one is it's really nice it's very it is heavy on the cinnamon but there's other added sweetness to it um this one is almost like orange and clove and cinnamon like it's not just cinnamon in the forefront it's more like you've got some other spices along with it but i feel like you have to have some spice during the holidays right um kind of like those uh pine cones that you you can smell oh so good but um this is really good definitely heavy on the cinnamon so if you don't like cinnamon scents i would not recommend this one but if you are like me where you appreciate cinnamon scents but you just need some other things along with it this is really good um this is really really nice you've got like i said and this is more like i think more holiday than like cinnamon spice fall yes so I had to make my list. Christmas Cottage. So Sensi says Christmas Cottage. Where are we at? Christmas Cottage, which is a bestseller. Not surprised. Um, a cozy, inviting blend of Valencia oranges, raspberries, cloves, and spices. There you go. I totally agree. Um, the oranges are definitely there. Raspberries are adding some added sweetness, I'm sure. But I do get, like, I do smell that, like, sweetness plus cloves, spices, that kind of thing. So there's more to it than just spice in your face so i love that one had to make my list christmas cottage okay and we can't have a holiday or a winter lineup without a tree scent right so this one was hard and i might be cheating so i'm sorry <laughs> i had to choose two and there's there's a reason so i know we were only supposed to pick six and technically this is this is six and let me explain <laughs> melanie's probably rolling her eyes um so from 
the catalog from the regular catalog it would have to be very snowy spruce and once again i thought i had a bar of this and i'm sure i do in my office but um this is such a nice tree scent this is so nice this one um, definitely does make my club because if this one doesn't come back it this is my favorite tree scent until something else happened but I'll, I'll explain here in just a sec this is so nice because it's a there's a couple of different tree scents that we have to offer and very snowy spruce there's a little bit of added sweetness to like a pretty authentic tree scent in my opinion but there is like this added sweetness to it which i do really like so this is great for like a tree scent i i myself and i know melanie we are fake tree people <laughs> We, we love our artificial trees. She has, oh my goodness. And if, if you are not subscribed to her channel, you have to subscribe and check out her holiday decor. She has like, seriously, her house is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And she has impeccable taste. It's just, it's stunning. Um, and her holiday decor, she takes very, very seriously. And her Christmas trees, plural. Yes, she has multiple Christmas trees, as do I. I've got a rose gold tree that stays in our living room. And then I've got my larger tree that stays up in the front. But um, beautiful. So what I'm trying to say is if you have an artificial tree, but you're missing that tree scent, you got to have a tree scent during the holidays, right? So very snowy spruce is really really great and definitely my favorite tree scent from the catalog from the catalog now the difference is because this is something that i do get asked quite a bit is well what's the differences between this and iced pine or just for you iced pine there is a definite peppermint note to the tree and then just for you um it's good it's i feel like it's another sweeter um balsam kind of scent but i just i prefer very snowy spruce personally but iced pine is more of that peppermint so if you do like peppermint and tree scents iced pine would definitely be for you but for me very snowy spruce now the reason why i have two tree scents is because i had to put feeling pine in here feeling pine is actually not in the current catalog this is a special limited time offer so that's why I wanted to mention both of them because this one I actually have to say I think I like better than very snowy spruce this is just tree it's just tree you just stuck your face in a tree <laughs> that's all it is but it's so authentic I don't know how Scentsy does it they have amazing amazing people working on these fragrances and they absolutely nailed this one this if you have going in a Scentsy pod which are our for our um, like waxless scent systems if you will um in wax no matter what like this smells like a tree absolutely smells like a tree um but i think i am gonna keep both in my scentsy club because i do like the sweetness from very snowy spruce as well so if i'm just going straight authentic tree scent i'm, I'm gonna go feel and pine now feel and pine came um in a holiday three bar bundle which is still currently available but when it sells out it's gonna be gone it's not restocked very snowy spruce is going to be available through this catalog season let me tell you what Sensi says about feel and pine um feel and pine let eucalyptus pine and a kiss of mistletoe fill you with holiday spirit so it's all of the holiday greens <laughs> so it's really good i love it i love it so much so i i i know that's probably cheating but if i had to only choose one it would be very snowy spruce so there's that but i felt like this was worth mentioning as well holy cannoli almost 20 minutes and we're only talking about six cents so those are my six picks for the holiday slash winter season once again just saying really quickly we've got eskimo kiss very snowy spruce or very snowy uh, <laughs> very snowy spruce yes but snowberry winterberry apple tea Christmas Cottage, Very Snowy Spruce, and Cranberry Garland. So those are my six picks. I can't wait to see what Melanie chooses. And I'm going to be really interested to see if we do have any overlap because there's something telling me that I don't think we're going to have that much. I'm thinking if I had to guess one, I think two, 
I think we'll have two overlapping scents. So I'm really, really intrigued and interested to see what her picks are gonna be. So like I said, if you are newer here, hello and welcome. I would love it if you would subscribe and hang out with me. We talk all things home fragrance. We talk all things Scentsy. On the weekends we do vlogs, but um, if you haven't had a chance to check out Melanie's channel, head over there now. I will link her video down below. Definitely check it out to see what her picks are. Her channel name is Mr. Kong's Mom. Like I said, I will link her exact video down below. So definitely check it out. Subscribe to her if you are new. She is absolutely fabulous. You will love her. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Melanie, mwah, I love you. Thank you so much for wanting to do this collaboration with me. And I can't wait to see what scents you chose. And I can't wait to see you hopefully in the next coming few months. Kick rocks, Rona. <laughs> All right, friends. Thank you so much. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.